Hello, my name is Ni Amuda, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you for always watching my videos and supporting this channel. Now I want you to help me to like the video and then to subscribe if you're new and if you're an old member, click kindly share so that other people will benefit from this video. Okay, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you um how to print your design with pixel lab okay so now you're done with your design you have finished creating that flyer and that's whatsoever now this is what you're going to do how do you save it for print how do you prepare it for print before even you talk about preparation what are the things that you need to consider okay so in your design you want to make sure that your your measurement is intact you get your measurement is intact so graphic designers in fact not just graphic designers designers creative people they don't joke with um, measurements so you need to take cognizance of measurements you don't do things just anyhow you need to hang for the size and know exactly how it's going to be printed so if you are doing a design, you need to ask first, especially if it's going to be printed, you need to ask for the size of the design. So let's say you want to do a banner design, a banner design, you need to ask what is the size of it. Now some of the time you are the one that knows the size. For example, somebody comes and says, okay, I want to do a, a, a later added design, a later head design. Now, most letterhead are in A4 size. So, what you do is you just go over right here, go to your Google Chrome, and then go to the search and just type in the um, A4 size, A4 size in pixel. You see the A4 size in pixel. Now, this is the size, this is it right here. This is the size that you will use in your pixel lab to get a very befitting letter head design i copy it i'll go over here pixel lab then i would um, go to image size and then i would input it um let me get the height is going to be 3508 which is this one here 3508 you can see it here this is the height which is going to be the longer side the breadth the width which is going to be 2480 which is this right here okay once you okay do you see the size it has changed to a portrait just like you have a4 now do your design right here put all your design put all the elements whatsoever you want to put right here when you are done you save you save as ultra you save as ultra and then you send for print Tell them that the size is A4 size and it will be printed and to come out clean and clear. Assuming that you are doing a, 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 a let's say A5 flyer design, A5 flyer design, landscape, you just go over there and just go and type in because you need to get the exact size. Don't just assume. Get the exact size, A5 size in pixel. So get the exact size, like this is A5. Okay. This is for A5. So what do you do? Get the same measurements, just like I have it here, and then go over here, image size, and then impute it. Okay, like um, the height is going to be. Okay, let's let's get this. 2000, 2000, 2480, 2480. Right, uh, you can see this is A5 size portraits what of a five size landscape let's say you want to do it landscape so you just come here 1748 1748 okay 1748 2480 you can see so this is the this is the size in landscape i am going to design here when you are done with your design put your element put in your design whatsoever you want to do when you are done save save as jpeg ultra 
when you are done save as prepared ultra the cell phone print is going to fit in into an a5 size design now what is that what what if you are doing a design a banner design and the banner design is on pieces that you can print as as big as as large as 20 feet 20 feet is very long take your measurement and know how long 20 feet is on pieces like you can design something like that and you will print it and it's going to come out very clean now how do you do that let's say you want to design a banner a very big banner let's say it is um, the size is 20 by 20 by 10 feet simple you go over to your google and you will search 20 feet to pixel so the conversion will be done for you all right so this is the tool for converting so this is it all right so one feet is equals to 1152 pixels remember in pixel lab the measurement is in pixels so that's the smallest unit of measurement so now we can go over here and write how many feet so this is this is, how many feet we want to convert to okay let's say 20 feet convert we're converting 20 feet you can see 20 feet is 23,000 23,000 this is it so pick it from here and let's say this is this is going to be the the the, the width this is going to be the width sorry right here it's going to be the width paste okay then we'll go over here and get the one for 10 feet 10 feet convert to pixel and it's going to be 11,520 pixels so take the, 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 the size we we'll take it over to the height right here and then we we'll paste it and save now it looks very small right here it looks very small you can see it is 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 beyond it's not beyond your screen you can you can work on this very well but if when you are done designing this very small thing you are looking at it on your screen when you are done designing it and you save it it's going to be saved with ultra jpeg always save as ultra yeah save jpeg no transparency then under here save as ultra when you save your design it's going to be very very clear and clean then after you have finished saving your design it will save as a jpeg now go to your file and send your design as a document now don't send your design via whatsapp as image so i'm going to give you an example of what i'm trying to say so let's go over to whatsapp for instance if you are sending your design via whatsapp i'm just giving you an example if you are sending your design via whatsapp so um your your printer this is how you're going to send it you go to the person you want to send it to and click on documents all right click on documents and then search for the design inside your pixel lab folder so locate your pixel lab folder remember by now you must have saved your design now go to your pixel lab folder the design is going to be let's say assuming this is the design you send it's going to send like this to the person so it may be five megabytes it may be three megabytes don't look at the size the size may intimidate you the size may make you feel that okay this thing is not going to come out very clean don't forget about the size just pick it and make sure you send it as a document like this if it is sent as a document then the person the printer from the other end receive this your work or your client from the other end receive this work remember you have already sized it okay you have already sized it as 20 as two this is 20 feet by 10 feet not 23 feet it's 20 feet remember we did the conversion here okay we did the conversion here so once you send it to your client it's going to open it and take it this jpeg it will take it to the printer and it will tell the printer i'm printing 20 by 10 feet the printer will open color draw and then it will take the measurement and import your picture it will import this particular design that you are sent to him once he imports this design it is going to fit into the correct draw templates of 20 feet by 10 feet 
and it's going to be printed and it will come out very very sharp and clean so you don't have to worry about it anymore do you get me so this is how you do your measurement on pixel lab so any size that you want to design let it be flyer let it be banner even though an ebook all you have to do is to go to google and search make google your best friend search for the size of design that you want to do let's assume we want to do an envelope so just go standard envelope size standard envelope sorry envelope size in pixel don't forget to add in pixel when you add in pixel the option is going to be in pixel are you seeing it you can see this part here is telling you the sizes in pixel you can see in pixel then this size is in millimeters right so these are sizes of envelope okay so you can get them this is a5 envelope this is a6 envelope this is a7 envelope these are all sizes of envelope all right so make sure you make gogo your friend so that you would not miss out on how to get your design done this is very very important so don't be afraid to print your pixel lab design don't let anybody intimidate you that it, will, it can't come out it won't come out fine okay it will come out very fine if your measurement is okay so start with your measurements your measurement should be okay your measurement should be perfect your measurement should be accurate your measurement should be standard if that is done then your design will come out very very clean personally i have printed design of um 16 by 8 16 by 8 feet and it came out very well nobody knew that i used my smartphone to design it nobody knew because it, I did the proper arrangement, the proper measurement. So this is what you should do. Whenever you want to do your design, make sure you are getting the right measurement. Ask what is the measurement. Is this going to be a flex banner? If it's going to be a flex banner, please tell me the feet in height and width. How many feet? Then you go to Google and search it. If it is two by, if it's two by, it's two by. Let's say it's four, three by four. Just go press three or four, four feet in pixel other options will come up for you so you see it you can see three four five six okay you can see three four five six you can come over here to this website to continue your role and all the other others will be shown to you so we have from one to ten already so you can pick from here copy it this is three feet right this one here is three feet this is four feet this is five feet five feet does not mean five thousand it may have a little fraction to it so make sure you get the accurate measurement and your design will always always come out good if you found the design um, helpful please leave me a comment in the in the in, in the comment here leave me a comment here let me know if you found the design this um tutorial helpful and if there's any question that you would want me to clarify on please drop a comment i will attend to it duly i really really appreciate the time you spend watching this video please like it and share so that other people that use a smartphone to design would benefit from it i remain your your coach ni amuda i'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe